Hello and welcome to the next Lukosa Retro Game Review video and for this one it is Skyrunner which was released in 1987 by Cascade now Cascade are a publisher who have quite an infamous reputation largely because they completely torched what reputation they had with the release of the infamous uh, Cassette 50 uh, which was so abysmal that they never really recovered from it and every time they released a game it was always oh that's a game from that lot who did Cassette 50 um, which uh, yeah didn't do their reputation any good at all and they were never really able to shake it off so uh, right, well let's get a game underway if it will let me there we go right so at the start then we can uh, select the threat level if you look at the top there you can move the joystick uh, left or right to select uh, level you know one to eight I will stick with just uh, threat one because this game is quite difficult so you start off in this uh, like, uh, spacecraft here and you need to destroy a set number of these uh, towers now when you're in this thing you've only got one life so yeah you gotta watch what you're doing otherwise like that and then you get this extremely annoying message saying tough luck commander which feels like it's rubbing it in um but yeah that is that i mean that is it you know so um yeah as you can see i mean when you're going at full speed yeah it it goes at quite a rate so the speeds there the thing is if you go at full speed you've got next to fuck all chance of being able to get anywhere so I'm still trying to destroy these fucking towers here which I say is extremely difficult especially when you have instances like that thanks to the very dodgy uh, collision detection so the uh, the actual skimmer is destroyed even though you didn't actually hit the fucking thing so let's try and actually all right so I've blown up one I can't remember exactly how many you've got to destroy and it's not helped when you're fucking uh, shot right let's try that again I do not want to be going full tilt, so... Oh, fuck. Always the way. You get it lined up and that, and then suddenly something else comes along and fucking shoots you down. Uh, like that. So I was doing okay there, but no. I am determined to get past this stage because this is not all there is to it. There is a bit more, not a lot more, but there is uh, there is more. So I'm not going at the slowest speed, but uh, I'm not far off it. Oh, that fucking fuck off! Right. Now I did have a warm-up go, of course it's the age-old mistake, I, you know, playing a warm-up go and then you actually play the game proper and uh, all your guys are really shit. Um, but yeah, none of the towers fired at me when I was doing the warm-up one. So of course, now they are. anyway once you've destroyed uh, the set number I can't remember exactly how many it is you have to get the uh, the account balance up to a certain level I think you have to get it up to 55,000 which means I need to destroy another three 
No, that can't be right. I think I have to destroy them all there. Come on, it doesn't help that the, your range of, you know, your shots is a bit shit. And you do have two uh, scanners. Actually, you do only have the one. The, the second, the, the thing that looks like a scanner is just for messages. The actual scan itself is the green uh, window, which is, uh, yeah, it has an extremely limited range. You usually can see what's on screen before it appears on the scanner. Anyway, so we have got through that. So now you press fire to drop the first of the sky bikes. So this area is clear enough. Dropping down. And off we go. And now you do exactly the same thing, except you're now going up against these uh, enemy uh, sky bikes rather than blowing up these towers. But at least now you do have lives because uh, the uh, skimmer carries three sky bikes. And uh, yeah, so each time you lose one, well, until you've lost a third, you can at least. Ah, oh, fuck it. Anyway, you may have noticed that the game is fucking difficult as well as being fucking annoying. Um, so, well, there you go. So, I got to the sky by, so I didn't destroy a single fucking thing once I was in them. And what you see here is, is it. That is the whole fucking thing. It's shooting towers then shooting enemy sky bikes but it all plays exactly the same way no matter which you know which actual stage you're on so um well let's get the review underway then shall we uh graphically it's it's okay i've seen worse but i mean it's it's not exactly gonna blow you away um you know, it's it's there's nothing groundbreaking here. The the graphics on the your your skimmer are okay, but I mean the graphics on you know the shots and the those towers are shit. The trees look okay, um, but yeah. Um, in terms of audio, again, there's nothing particularly remarkable. The, the tune on the uh, intro page is pretty forgettable. Um, the sound effects within the game are extremely basic and, and forgettable. There is nothing remarkable about them. And the gameplay is... Well... You get the feeling that... Uh, the developers thought the gameplay might have been too easy. So what they've done is make the controls fucking annoying. Um, the controls are initially extremely, uh, extremely sluggish to respond. So you're holding down the key or moving the, you know, in a direction with the joystick, and initially it barely fucking moves, and then suddenly it just shoots across the whole bloody uh, playing area. So trying to fly with any co any sort of precision is a bit of a thankless task, to put it mildly. Um, then there's the small matter of the you know, extremely shit range that your fire you know, your weapon has. As you can see, I'm practically on top of the. Uh, these towers before they're destroyed. It's not that they take multiple hits, they only take one hit to be destroyed. But, uh, yeah, it's... So, uh, because the controls are, well, initially so sluggish and then going to the other extreme of being, you know, ridiculously uh, uh, oversensitive, um, I'm amazed I got that one. Uh, Alright, so we got through it again. 
Yeah, the game is extremely difficult to play because of the uh, control method. And with the bikes, if anything, it's worse. Because if you go full pelt, then, you know, because uh, turning has the same, you know, extremely sluggish start and then suddenly you're shooting right the way uh, around the, the screen. Um, yeah, going full speed means you are, without doubt, going to crash into either a tree or uh, an enemy uh, sky bike. Um, and if you go extremely slow, I'm not going at the slowest by by any means. Um, the enemy uh, sky bikes can then just go straight past you. And once they've gone past you, that's it. There's no point trying to catch up because they're just no longer being registered. They're no longer in the play area. So, yeah, they shoot past or, fucking hell, I actually hit one. Some of a miracle. Uh, or they'll just fly straight into the back of you and uh, you're destroyed. But, uh... Yeah, so the gameplay is a combination of fucking annoying. See, now he's gone, there's there's no way I'm going to catch up with him. Again there, I ended up going, well, not quite full pelt, but not far off it. But, uh, yeah, I was nowhere near being able to actually uh, keep up with him. And like I say, the moment he's off screen, that's it. I don't know how the fuck I managed to fly through those two trees. But yeah, he's off the screen so so the game is a combination of boring and frustrating when I mean you look at the actual idea behind it it looks like it could have been pretty good uh, and it fucking well isn't it's a fucking load of shit actually no it's not a fucking load of shit, it's just annoying because it could have been great and it's not. It's forgettable stuff. It's uh, it's not, you know, it's not one of the worst games I've ever played. It's not, uh, you know, it's not another fucking uh, Robo Bolt. Although it does have things in common with Robobolt because it is just so boring and so dreary you just think there's no way this could have been you know this is the best they could have done they could easily have done better than this uh, which makes you think well they just couldn't be bothered but then like I say this is the company that released the uh, cassette 50 so it wouldn't surprise me in the least if that really was the case. So that is uh, Skyrunner. I'll give it 4 out of 10 because it doesn't even reach mediocrity. There's just nothing here. And uh, it, it's just a very dull and dreary game when it could have been one of the best games on the 64 if they just bothered to put more into it and I'm sure they could have easily put more into it um, which makes it even more annoying so that's it then Skyrunner 4 out of 10 uh, that brings this review to an end and we will see you at the next one